Is that surprising to see that much snow on the ground this late in the year? Well, for them, yes. Uh, but we do have some mountains here that you can still snow, uh, ski on. Uh, you can go down to Timberline, uh, down in Oregon on Mount Hood. They oh, actually right. still have a ski season going on right now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's pretty nifty. Or you could go hike up to, you know, the top of Rainier and jump off and go skiing down there. Yeah, no, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, earlier today, you were talking about uh, air the pollution, air quality. air quality. Yeah, and it was a point of concern earlier this morning. Mm. Uh, I want to show you what the ma or what this graph shows. This is a graph that shows uh, Seattle's air quality, uh, specifically out at Beacon Hill, which is just southwest of downtown Seattle. And notice the last couple of days, it's been just fine. But notice this little spike that you see that happened just after 10 o'clock last night. Now think about that. What happened just after 10 o'clock last night that would cause the air quality to really drop? Well, we had lots of fireworks last night, right? All, all those professional shows, they look really cool, but they also put a lot of chemicals in the air, and that's why we had unhealthy air quality for at least a couple of hours, but you can see it has since leveled off. Uh, most of the smoke has been dispersed, but still kind of interesting that we can still pick up on that uh, uh, the day after the 4th of July. Uh, right now, it's cloudy. Uh, you might even notice a couple of stray sprinkles outside, and temperatures well, they haven't moved very much from the upper 50s we saw earlier this morning, now 64 degrees, and winds southerly about 5 miles per hour. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of rain in the forecast, but at least the chance for showers over the next couple of days. This is what it's going to be like as an upper level low spins just to our north. Notice most of the showers confined through the strait and up in the northwest interior. Couple of sprinkles over the central sound, but I'm not getting a ton of reports of those actually reaching the ground. So you can see this broad swirl you see that's right now over Vancouver Island. It's a slow moving low that's basically going to park itself just to our north. And as long as this low is in our vicinity, this is what our weather is going to be like and it's not going to move out of here at least until Monday of next week. So mostly cloudy, few showers, mainly north, few showers over the weekend and certainly cooler temperatures. Normal high is about 73, 74 degrees. We're going to have to wait until early next week before we see those temperatures return. Brighter and warmer conditions, almost summer like again uh, by Monday and Tuesday. So let's time out with future cast. This is what radar is going to look like at about 1 o'clock. Notice a couple of light showers up near the border, but mostly just clouds everywhere else. By 7 o'clock, similar case. Most of the showers are still north. And heading into tomorrow, a lot of cloud cover in the morning, maybe some partial sunshine in the afternoon. And notice radar uh, future cast has a couple of sprinkles, a couple of showers tomorrow afternoon. That's probably going to be about it. So not a great chance for rain, but at least the chance is going to be with us through at least Sunday. Heading up into the mountains, well, plan on seeing the crowds. These are recent images. And look at how crowded it is up at Mount Rainier Paradise, 5,400 feet. The mountain is out up there, by the way, so you got to head up before you actually see the mountain. Uh, here's the rest of your forecast for the lowlands. Once we get beyond this weekend, there's that brief stint of summer-like weather Monday and Tuesday, mid to upper 70s and some sunshine, showers, and then cooler temperatures return Wednesday and Thursday. So, Amity, it's not a very July-like forecast that we're looking at. So uh, we'll get some bits of summer from time to time, but probably not this weekend.